Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. Okay, so today um, I'm going to be taking you through how to prepare for your post-UME exam. Okay, this year's post-UME. Now, right now, at the moment, um, JAM has announced that by June, um, during their board meeting, they would announce the official cutoff mark. That's the official JAM cutoff mark for universities. So right now, the official cutoff mark is being um, assumed from last year's cutoff mark. Okay, so by by June, you would know your school's cutoff mark. All right, but all you need to do is try to know what for your school what cutoff mark was used last year, and also for your department. Okay. Okay. In matters, you know the general cutoff mark, and for your own department, you would also find out what was used. Okay, so also try to watch this video to the end. I'm, I'm giving a giveaway, okay, and that would be post UME past questions on some schools uh, which I bought so to help you practice. So try to watch this video to the end, and please also try to give this video a thumbs up and uh, comment and give me your reactions comment on the schools you want me to uh, solve for you okay i've solved on unilag and some other schools this video today is to um, help you know how to prepare for this exam and screening and if this is your first time on this channel please try to subscribe to our channel okay on youtube subscribe uh follow uh, follow us on our various um social media uh, platform and also give this video a thumbs up okay all right okay so let's go to the video so there are three key things to do to prepare for your forthcoming post UME this year usually post UME is um, around august september october okay for most schools like i last year um unilag was in around october um, UI2 around October, November, OAU2. Okay, so uh, the three key things to do. The first thing to do is know your school's admission screening method. Okay, there are three types of admission screening uh, method there's the online, there's the physical, and the aptitude test. Okay, the online one, the school will just require you to post or um, upload all your documents, your school documents, your WIAC, your JAM results, your birth certificate, several documents. Okay, and you know your post UME form, um, JAM has pe pegged uh, the amount at 2.5 and it shouldn't be higher than 3,000, I think. Okay, so when you pay, um, the school would give you the processes you need to fill out the online form okay and it's always better for you to go to the school to fill out that form go to the school go around the school maybe in the school this the cyber cafes they would help you out with it all right and uh you have the fiscal screening method where you have to go dressed formally all right you dress in a respectable way and uh, you'll be screened and interviewed okay that this would be all right interview you take all your certificates you prove them you know they'll have to cite your original fiscal certificate that's after you paid for the uh, post UME form then this is the aptitude test which is very critical okay most schools do tests take that's your post UME exams so uh, you have to know from last year what was being used is it the online physical or aptitude test so you have to find that out don't wait till june so that you will start preparing now all right okay so the the second thing is to start as i said um now start preparing now if it's your if it's an aptitude test get the school's post UME past questions and practice 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 you know there's something about there's a mentality about uh, even me as a student I was also guilty of that you know you wait till like one month to the exam and, and you want to start practicing start reading no it will put you under a lot of pressure okay so start practicing now get the schools post UME if you have someone let's say you have to travel you can call oh please can you send these past questions by email or to me and start pre preparing now start reading now every day two hours give yourself at least a minimum of two hours to start preparing now so you don't get tensed up 
all right because most schools um on dtw channel uh we've done uh, per, i've solved pursue me past questions on unilag ui oau and i tell you that one the past questions for oau is quite hard very hard so and it's something you have to start preparing now all right so please start preparing now to know how the questions have been formed get familiar uh with the questions all right so the next thing is to what stay updated to know your school's post me screening date stay updated always make sure every day you browse on your school okay stay updated about the school call up in a week call the person anyone you know in that school call that person all right stay updated don't fold your hands and wait always make sure once in a week you follow up on your school to know everything about it the admission screening method and uh, when the date for the post ume is as i said earlier by june you should um, by june after the announcement of the official jam cutoff mark then every school will start um, releasing their date for post ume and how to register okay so i also have you can send me an email I also have a uh, post me past questions on Unilag, OAU, and UI. All right. So send me an email and I would forward this to you. That's if you if your school is Unilag, OAU, and UI. Send me an email. Just say post me past question on the school. If it's UI, just say UI post me past question, and I will gladly forward those past questions to you so you can start practicing and very soon you should see um i should upload the uh, videos on photo and on uniben and more to come okay very soon you should see videos on that i'm also working on that all right so uh, i think this is the end of the video i believe this year uh by this time next year you would wear your matriculation gown okay so i just believe you are going to get into school this year and that is what we are here for dtw tutorials we are here to support you to get into school not only getting into school being great and excellent having a right mindset okay as a student okay being a role model for people and also saying no to exam my practice that's what dtw tutorial is here for all right so thank you and this we've come to the end of the video uh try to follow us on, uh, on our various uh, social media platform on our facebook platform just search dtw tutorials don't forget to add the s on uh, Instagram also DTW tutorials on Twitter is at DTW tutorials just add an NG and you'll find us and try to follow us don't forget also to subscribe thank you from DTW tutorials thank you for listening to us for subscribing okay and don't forget Jesus Christ is coming soon give your life to Christ he is the way the truth and the life he said in his word come unto me all ye that are heavy laden he will give you rest. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Come and he will take all those burdens off your neck. Okay? Jesus is waiting for you. He's always waiting for you, willing to accept you, no matter the sin you've committed, no matter the, the, the pit you are in, no matter the way you feel dirty or you feel, uh, you, you, you feel so guilty, you feel so, I don't know, so depressed with yourself, but Jesus has the power to save to bring you out of every problems of life all right so give your life to christ today you are destined to win bye